Installation of iSmartGate for Android. The first step is to open the iSmartGate application. Here, you will be presented with the option to buy the iSmartGate device. As you already have the device, you just need to press the button, no thanks. You should now have two buttons on your screen, Join Existing iSmartGate and Start Configuration. The purpose of the second Join Existing iSmartGate button is if you want to add an iSmartGate device previously configured by another person to your phone. If that is the case, then you would need the iSmartGate owner to give you the iSmartGate UDI login and password. As this is not the case here, you need to configure the iSmartGate from scratch. To configure the iSmartGate device, you need to press the first button, Start Configuration. Now, you need to plug in your iSmartGate. You now have 15 minutes to start the configuration, otherwise you have to restart the device. Now, press Next. You need to wait two minutes for the iSmartGate device to turn on. Check to see that the light on the Wi-Fi is blue. This means that the device is ready to start configuration. If the Wi-Fi light isn't blue, you need to reset the iSmartGate. To reset the device, hold down the reset button on the back of the device for five to six seconds and then wait two minutes for the device to restart. If the light is blue, press Next. In this screen, you will be asked if you have previously configured this device with Home Application by Apple. You should press No. In this step, you need to minimize the iSmartGate application and open the Wi-Fi configuration to connect your smartphone to the network called ISG, followed by 10 numbers. Now that you are connected to the ISG network, a message will appear informing you that the network you have connected to doesn't have internet connection. Select Stay Connected. Now you need to go back to the iSmartGate application. Press Next. Once the application has found your iSmartGate device, click on it to continue. Now you need to select which language you want. Press Next. Now you need to configure the doors. Unlike the iSmartGate Pro, which has three doors, the iSmartGate Lite only has one door to configure. Click on the button to enable door one. You need to select the type of door that you have. In this case, it is a garage door. In door images, you can put personalized images of the door. For now, we will leave default images, which can be changed later. You need to name the door. In this case, use Door 1. You need to select the sensor type that comes with the box, which is Wireless Sensor, in this case, ISG-TWS. You should enter the sensor ID found on the label of our sensor. It is important to put the batteries in the sensor as the sensor will start communicating with the device. Press Next. Now you need to configure the iSmartGate Administrator account. The login of the administrator will always be admin. Here, you can also see your iSmartGate UDI. It is important to note this down and always have it on hand. Now, enter the administrator password. Then, enter an email. Even though you aren't going to use Google Home, you need to enter a security code of between four and six numbers to be able to use it in the future. When you use Google Home to open or close your garage door, Google Assistant will ask for the security code to complete the instruction. Press Next. Here, we must choose a name to identify our device. In this case, you should call it Home. Now you need to connect iSmartGate to your home Wi-Fi network. Press the button Scan Wi-Fi Networks. Select your Wi-Fi network and enter the password. Press Next. Now you need to read and accept the terms and conditions to be able to use remote access. 
Alternatively, you can choose Continue without activating remote access. Remember that remote access must be activated if you want to connect your iSmartGate to external applications like Google Home or IFTTT or connect remotely to iSmartGate from outside your house. Accept the terms and conditions and press Next. In this final step, it explains what the Wi-Fi light is supposed to look like once you press the Finish button. Press Finish. Wait for the device to restart, and if it is connected correctly, the Wi-Fi light should be green. If successful, you can use your iSmartGate. Now that the application is connected to your iSmartGate, if you want to change any settings, you need to go to Settings and access your admin account. Here, you will have all setting options. 